Welcome back to WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore positive. We are a positively post 4th of July. A little bit of house cleaning here for everybody. We're going to be doing our final Maryland Crab Cake Tour of the month this week at Costas on Friday, or excuse me, Thursday. Uh, this is all brought to you by our friends at the Maryland Lottery in conjunction with Goodwill and our friends at Window Nation this month. Special deal on Window Nation. We've been telling you about it all month. But we have these wise conversations around here and Part of doing 31 crab cakes in 31 days in the month of August is I, I get to visit with people that I've only get to know on Zoom. Uh, so I'm going to be all over the state. We're heading west to start the month. Uh, if you are following along at Baltimore Positive this month, not just Purple Rain 1 being released, Purple Rain 2 is coming later in the month, but also the entire crab cake tour from last year, uh, including stops all over the state, including a lot of stops uh, at Wise for Gold Watermelon, which I actually had at a party over the weekend with my Fadley's friends. We welcome Christina Pelletier uh, back onto the program. She is, don't be scared now, she's a nutritionist and a dietitian here in the summer. And I got to be honest, my shirt started to fit tight. I noticed this at the Heritage Fair over the weekend. So uh, all that that stuff we did last week about healthy eating and all that, I need to go back and listen to last week's episode. But more than that, inflation's getting a hold of us. And uh, we always talk about eating better and spending less. And we talk about wise. And uh, Christine is here to at least help us get through some of the budget issues here because we still can find good, quality, affordable, healthy food at wise markets. Correct, Christina? Yes, absolutely. It's All right. First choices. Come on. You got a couple things. You always you do your homework on these things. Give me a couple of grand ideas for saving a little bit of dough here this month. Yeah. So the first kind of piece of advice I always give is make a grocery list and stick to it. And I'm sure we've all heard this before, but it really does help kind of take down those impulse buys that maybe things you don't really need, but look really good in the moment and never going to the store hungry too. Uh, that was going to say that's rule one, yep. right? Rule one is eat before you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Go to the grocery store full. Um, and just knowing what you have at home so you're not buying things that you don't really need that you already have so you can save money there and we always want to you know the first in first out rule so we have less waste too so first in you know what you already have in your pantry and then that should be the first thing that comes out to the first thing that you use before you buy more of it and then making that grocery list will really help with that too because you already know you have that so you don't need to get it and um, maybe just plan some meals for either a few days or the whole week, or just kind of have a general idea. So, you know what you, you need to get. Well, this is the point where I want to go get my wife, uh, and, and say, listen, come on, let's talk about food waste. Let's talk about throwing things away, which we do. I, you know, I had a couple of, you know, I love those garlic pepper drumsticks. I, I, I couldn't figure out how to work the grill. I know how to work the grill. Now the flame I got taught, my wife came home, taught me how to do that. Um, but I, I had a couple of extra ones and they wound up just sitting in the refrigerator. And, and I, I spank myself every time that I do that. Like I waste food. Right. And, you know, my parents taught me don't waste. And we always hear starving kids in Africa, starving kids here in America, starving kids, starving people everywhere. Right. See homeless people. And uh, as I've gotten older and certainly mu much more magnanimous when I'm walking through the streets of an American city and I see someone hungry, a lot of times I'll have leftovers from a lunch or something I have when I'm out of town and just give it away. But like there's there, there, there is hunger. And then there is waste, right? And I guess for all of us who do have enough money to go to the store, buy some groceries, despite inflation, waste is really a place and, and throwing things away and having things expire. I lost a couple of buns last week. We had, um, we got hot dog buns for, for Roma sausages that we had had. And we you know, put five of them on, there were eight buns and I didn't get, a, you know, like, so wasting things for sure. I think that's probably the first place to start on not wasting money is actually eat what you buy, right? Absolutely. And just kind of maybe if you have a little bit extra of something like knowing how to repurpose it. So those hot dog buns, maybe if you knew you weren't going to eat them, maybe turn them into croutons or breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> And Maybe mix it in with my slurry with my crab cake recipe or something. I, yeah, the chopped stuff is the best, right? Like when I watch chopped, I come up with all sorts of, man, I know you could do that with green beans. I know you could do that with leftover chicken or, or you know, buns that you think of as hot dog buns. There's bread. We have to do something else with them. But uh, Christina Pelletier is here. She always brings us wise, wise tips. Uh, and of course, uh, I usually break out the ice cream here. Uh, I did get some extra ice cream here this week, but I'm, I'm not talking about ice cream. We're going to talk about budgets and talking about saving 
spend money. Uh, inflation's hit everybody hard, right? I mean, you know, all over the country uh, and, and things you can still find on a budget. I, I, I would think simple things like cooking with pasta and rice, just going old school, right? Like my dad stood in soup lines in the 1920s. Uh, he would always, for his whole life, always talk to me, put something, put something in your stomach, put some, some food in your belly, he would always say to me. But more than that, inexpensive things that can create a nice baseline for a meal. Yeah, absolutely. Rice, pasta are great ways um, to start. And um, even eggs are uh, less ex expensive protein or canned beans um, or even tuna pouches. I know like the single serve tuna pouches are um, fairly inexpensive and pack a lot of protein and nutrients in there and make a quick, you know, snack or lunch with some crackers. Um, and also just buying in bulk, buying those larger quantities. So even just taking, you know, a little small yogurt, for example, maybe it's $1 for a small cup, but then you look at that, you know, 32 ounce larger container and it's a little more expensive, but once you kind of look at, you know, the unit price for how much you're getting, it's actually less expensive to buy the larger container. And if you're going to eat it all and use it up, then why not go for that larger container instead of buying, you know, all those smaller ones, which might in the long run be a little more expensive. Well, I talk a lot about uh, seasonal items and, and you know, I, I kid about yellow watermelon because we get two months to have it. I got peach cake this week, by the way, we get two months of peach cake and fresh <laughs> peaches. My wife brought some peaches home from Wise yesterday because they look good. Uh, not ripe yet, but they will be by Wednesday. So I'll, I'll be all about that. Uh, when it comes to health and nutrition, and you talk about what you do all day long, which is try to advise wise customers into the right place, um, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, when it comes to healthy eating, where do you usually send people, especially summertime? Because I would think there are items now that because they're ripe, because fr uh, pro uh, produce is fresh, cantaloupes, watermelons, things like that, that come farm to table literally are a little more affordable this time of year than maybe in the winter, that you can't can eat fresh in the summer at a better price point, even during inflation. Yeah, absolutely. I always encourage people to kind of shop in season, look what produce is in season, both fruits and veggies are going to be, you know, less expensive and the freshest um, items out there. And, but, you know, frozen and canned items are also, you know, a really good option. Usually frozen items are kind of frozen right at peak freshness where so they still contain all those same nutrients that the fresh produce do have so you know dennis and i got into this because you're a little younger than me right when you're old like dennis and i dennis Curtin, of course uh he, our, our partner at wise we remember when like frozen foods weren't and my parents bought that stuff in the 70s and 80s and i will say gave up on it because i i think i can taste the difference especially like if there's a, a stir fry that's done with mixed with mixed vegetables that were frozen versus fresh, I can always tell. But I'll say this: frozen vegetables have come a long, long way, and I talk to Ken about that all the time. That I still sort of avoid the frozen food aisle, even though I've thrown out broccoli that's gone bad on me fresh that we talked about earlier because you don't eat it. That frozen gives you that eternal opportunity, but, but frozen's come a long way. And, and I would say that, that we buy more frozen vegetables and I'm kind of shocked that they're, they're better than they used to be. And that sounds like an old guy, get off my lawn thing here, Christina, but it is. Yeah. I'm glad it's come a long way. And even if you do buy that fresh produce and you don't use it in time or don't think you'll use it in time, you can always, you know, wash it off and freeze it yourself. So it's kind of, you have, you make your own frozen produce. <laughs> Well, throw it in a soup is what I would say. Christina Pelletier's here. She does a dietitian and nutritionist work for our friends at Wise Markets. We're going to be visiting her and many other. Tell everybody where you are because you're out on the farm, right? You're not here in Baltimore. No, I'm actually in Brunswick, Maryland. Where is Brunswick? Tell her because a lot of people are challenged. They don't know the east from the west. Now, I knew Brunswick because I covered high school sports in the 80s, and they had a high school team that always was class A or B, or they were a smaller school, but they would come in and play for state championships and get track stars and all that kind of stuff. But you're a little bit out west, right, toward the Frederick Hagers down, but a little south of there, toward West Virginia, right? Yeah, so I'm actually kind of even like 10 minutes away from Harper's Ferry, if that 
is helpful kind of in water rafting there yeah <laughs> yeah well i'm gonna get out that way we had uh, an incredible visit to antietam uh we had an incredible visit to frederick maryland my wife and i fell in love with frederick last year so much so that we're beginning our tour west most people are like Just go to ocean city to start no 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 we're going west we're starting uh, out of deep creek because we fell in love with it last year so we're gonna be passing christina and several wise markets uh, uh on the way out in, in, including uh in frostburg there's a wise market as well i remember stopping by there on the way out so we uh, we do appreciate the wise conversations and certainly the ice cream i am in the f in the finishing touches right now of including the wise sunbury pennsylvania ice cream factory in the middle of the crab cake tour with the six dollar signature wise uh crab cake so i'm putting all this together for the month of august make sure you're following along christina last thing for you with uh with summer give me your favorite summer thing as a nutritionist give me something that if you if, if budget were unlimited and I came to your house and you were going to make me summer foods, wh where would you start as a nutritionist? I actually, for the 4th of July, I actually just had a watermelon salad um, yesterday. Yeah. So it's mint? Kind of, no, mint. no, it, okay. there was feta. So it was watermelon, feta and some goat cheese mixed in and pistachios. Pistachios with watermelon. Yes, I, I never thought of that. the same thing, and I tried it, but it was actually really delicious. A crunch in there? Yeah. All right. The well, there you go. Hey, that's great. So pistachio, you did, you did put mint, right? Um, I I didn't, but I'm sure you could. That no, well, you did pistachio, goat watermelon, cheese. goat cheese, and, and a little bit of feta. Feta, feta. Okay, all right. My wife came home. Uh, the other, it was, she's always picking different stuff up, but she was with her sister last week and they found this recipe that was rice, mint, tomato, cucumber. It was like a tabbouleh, but like, um, a, but very, very fresh. And she made that, believe it or not, we had all American hamburgers, cheeseburgers, legitimate cheeseburgers, cheddar cheese from Wise. She came back from the store. She chopped all the tomatoes up and I didn't have a tomato for my burger. She put it all into the tabbouleh. So I'm picking the tomatoes out and I put it together. But we literally, instead of, uh, you know, like a, a macaroni salad or that kind of stuff, she came up with this very, very healthy sort of rice tabbouleh, minty. So we have some mint around here. And when she brought the mint home, I'm like, we need watermelon. She didn't have any watermelon. She, the problem with watermelon with our family is the watermelon's this big and we're this big. So I need to buy like slices or find like the fresh cut. And I know we have that at Wise and I can pick up like a little fruit salad or whatever, but I'm always enamored by the big fat watermelon, but then I have to get friends to come help me eat it. So at least I have mint and now, and we do have feta cheese here as well. So a little feta, a little mint, little watermelon. I had that on a stick at a party the other day. They served me gold watermelon on a stick at a party on the 3rd of July. And I said, gold watermelons back and let me know so i'll be out there shopping around christina i'm going to see you out in western maryland later on in the month really love the wise conversations and i really appreciate the um the little tip there to uh to get out and get fresh here this month and uh finding new ways to make watermelon salad i appreciate that yes of course thank you for having me we have pistachios around here because my wife loves pistachios so we keep those around here and crack those not because we go to the ballpark but we should uh christina is with wise markets uh we always eat better we spend less we always talk about our friends at wise markets and uh, i certainly get out and do some shopping and get around we call them wise conversations you can find them out at baltimore positive including our Maryland Crab Cake Tour. We're back out on the road. We're going to be at Costas on Thursday of this week. Then we're going to shut it down for a couple of weeks because we're going to go crazy in August. 31 crab cakes in 31 days, including 31 breweries. So I've um, I've really had to get my Google search on to be uh, looking for the right breweries with the right the right shades of blonde beer for me here in the summer uh, as I have to hydrate out on the road as we do 31 crab cakes in 31 days. I am Nestor. We are WNST AM 1570 Taos in Baltimore. Shohei Otani in town this weekend for you birds fans. Luke's going to be back from the beach as well. We got plenty going on. Stay with us. We are WNST. We never stop talking. Baltimore, positive.